Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Shinya Tanigawa. Uh, I belong to Faculty of Agriculture, Kyoto University. Uh, today, I will tell you about my study, the relationship between light reflection from cattle's pupil and cell vitamin A level. Uh, firstly, uh, let me talk about the background of my study. Uh, Takao-san and uh, Han-san have already told uh, this kind of uh, background. Uh, so I will explain uh, simply. Uh, look at these two pictures. The left picture shows a normal beef and the right picture shows a uh, high quality beef. High quality beef has high marbling score and uh, especially Japanese likes to eat such a uh, high quality beef. Uh, to make better beef, uh, we don't have to control the uh, sun vitamin A level. This graph shows the desired time series of serum vitamin A level to make better beef. Uh, in middle fatting phase, this blue area, in middle fatting phase, uh, we don't have to control the uh, serum vitamin A level lower. However, under the 30 IU, international unit per deciliter, uh, cattle get a disease. Uh, that is called vitamin A deficiency. So uh, we don't have to control the vitamin A level about uh, between uh, 30 IU per deciliter and 50 IU per deciliter. So strict management of, uh, for the serum vitamin A level is uh, needed. Currently, a main way uh, of measurement for serum vitamin A level is blood assay. But blood assay has some uh, disadvantages such as high cost, time consuming, and stressful. So a simple and rapid method is desirable. Then our research group uh, focuses on the image processing of cattle's pupil. In my study, I measured the uh, light reflection on the surface of pupil. Uh, light ref reflection means this uh, surface reflection of LED rings. According to previous study, uh, surface of ice become dry and rough by vitamin A deficiency. So I made a hypothesis that light reflection is reduced and scattered uh, when the, uh, the changes of surface, such as dryness and roughness, occur because of, by, uh, because of vitamin A deficiency. So the uh, goal of our research group is to establish a rapid method of serum vitamin level measurement by image processing of cattle's pupil for production of high quality beef. And the objective of my study is uh, examine, uh, to, exa to examine a relationship between serum vitamin level and light reflection on the surface of cattle's pupil to analyze RGB components and those variants around the region area. Uh, here's the material. Test cattle are 42 heads of Japanese black cattle. Uh, the ex uh, field of experiment is from May to December in 2011. Uh, and uh, the range of ages, uh, cattle's ages, is from uh, 12 and to uh, 23 months old, uh, like this range. Every month, uh, data of images and vitamin A are taken. This is a device. Uh, imaging condition is like this. Two uh, CCD camera can get a uh, color image and NIR image at the same time. The lighting device is white LED rings and NIR LED rings with PL film. Uh, in front of the lighting device, there is a 100 millimeter tube to prevent ambient light and uh, keep distance from camera and eyes constantly. This is a method of experiment. Uh, firstly, uh, we cover the black cloth over the cattle's head to the pupil for 120 seconds. And next, uh, we put NIR LEDs on and uh, detect the pupil, area, pupil position and fix camera. <coughs> After that, uh, white LEDs on uh, and uh, we start to take images. 
Let's name it. It's like that. And uh, here is an image processing. Uh, this is the original uh, color image. Uh, firstly, uh, the color image are separated to grayscale of RGB components. This is a, a grayscale of big component. Then uh, the grayscale of S HSI are calculated. This is a, a grayscale of H. Then the grayscale of H is finalized and uh, reduces the noise to detect the pupil. At that time, uh, I decided the uh, ROI, range of interest. Uh, here, uh, black uh, ring part is a uh, halation part. I, we, I removed the halation part. Finally, I took uh, RGB components in ROI. Then from now, uh, I will explain the uh, result. Uh, Firstly, I explain the individual result. Individual means uh, one cattle, uh, one cow data in one graph. This slide uh, indicates the uh, relationship between mean value of RGB and serum vitamin A level. Look at the left graph. Uh, this graph shows the time series data of uh, serum vitamin A level and mean value of R. X axis is uh, months of experiment, and Y axis is slang vitamin level and mean value of R. You can see when slang vitamin level goes down, uh, mean value of R uh, increase. So mean value <coughs> of R is negatively correlated with slang vitamin A level. Next, look at the right graph. This graph shows the linear uh, correlation of between the uh, serum vitamin A level and the mean value of R. This graph also shows a negative correlation. Then look at the table three. Uh, this table shows the number of cattle with correlation between mean value of RGB and serum vitamin A level. You can see 33 of all cattle get uh, correlation, negative correlation with serum vitamin A level. Also, uh, mean value of G and B get the uh, negative correlation. Next, I analyze the variance of RGB by same way. Look at these two pictures. This, 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 these two graphs show the uh, relationship between serum vitamin A level and the variance of B. When serum vitamin A goes down, uh, variance of B decreases. So variance of B is positively correlated with serum vitamin A level. Then look at the, uh, this table. Uh, variance of R and G uh, have little correlation with serum vitamin A level, but uh, variance of B uh, Eighteen, eighteen cattle of all eighteen of all cattle get a, a positive correlation uh, between variance of B and serum vitamin A level. Next, I will explain the statistic result. Uh, firstly, I s uh, separate all image data uh, by range of serum vitamin A level. Like uh, under 20 IU per deciliter, from 20 IU per deciliter to 30 IU per deciliter, like that. And then I take a uh, average value of RGB components and serum vitamin A level uh, in each group, like this. Then I plot the data. Uh, one plot shows the uh, uh, one uh, vitamin A group uh, with uh, average value of serum vitamin A level and uh, mean value of RGB. Uh, 
you can see mean value of RGB uh, is negatively correlated with serum vitamin A level. And uh, R square has uh, high, high value. And uh, next, I uh, calculate the uh, I intensity value. Uh, intensity value is calculated from this formula. I is also negatively correlated with serum vitamin A level. Then I uh, analyze the variance of RGB by the same way. Uh, you can see variance of R and G has little correlation with serum vitamin A level. However, uh, variance of B has a uh, positive correlation with serum vitamin A level. Then uh, let me talk about the discussion. Uh, I think, I consider generally uh, mean value of RGB become decrease and variance of RGB become increase when the surface of ice become dry and rough caused by vitamin A, less, less vitamin A. But uh, results are different from this consideration. I guess uh, light reflection is not only from the surface but also the other part. Look at the eye of diagram, diagram of eyes. Uh, retina is this part, uh, which is eye ground. So I guess uh, light reflection is not only the surface, but also the retina. Then look at the, these two graphs. Uh, this Two pictures, uh, these two pictures show the uh, these two pictures show the color change of retina. You can see when serum vitamin A level goes down, uh, retina color is bleached. So I guess uh, intensity become higher. So our, uh, my uh, my result follow this color change. And uh, I'd like to show you the uh, result in 2010, last year's result. You can see uh, the relationship between mean value of P and the serum vitamin level is positive correlation, and the uh, relationship between variance of B and serum vitamin level is negative correlation. This is opposite result from those in 2011. But in this result follows the uh, general consideration. So I guess uh, this is because the uh, uh, brightness of images. Uh, the, uh, because of the uh, imaging condition, uh, in 2010, uh, image is dark, so uh, reflection from surface strongly affect, I guess. And in 2011, uh, image is bright, so reflection is uh, from retina also strongly affect, I guess. This is the uh, uh, final slide. Uh, I conclude that light reflection from the eyes has a potential to become uh, one of the components to measure the strong vitamin A level. And uh, there is a possibility that properly darker images are better to detect light reflection from the surface of eyes. Uh, in the future, this study will be used in multivariable analysis with uh, researches about color change and shrinking speed of the pupil. Uh, at that time, a new measurement for serum vitamin level will be established. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Ah, uh, yes, in the cross. However, uh, RGB components uh, we are used to 
this large RGB component is different from Takao san used small RGB. Small RGB. Yes. Ratio. Ratio. Yes. Chromaticity value. Okay. For example, the, uh, what, what I'm trying to indicate 
you have a vitamin A concentration from 30 into 70. If you look at the data point from between 20 and 50, the data is, doesn't look so bad. Those are your concentration range that you're interested in. So you have something called a, your, 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 your range of interest between 30 and 50, right? Between 30 and 60. Ah, yes. Uh, lower value. Yeah. Is if you look at that, your important. data look, doesn't look so bad. Your data looks pretty good. It's just a high concentration um, might have problems. Keep going on the slide. Well, one slide, I have a question. Slide 16. scale 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are data points. What you should do is adjust the, the time scale into actual day. Actual day. Actual day. Because they are not linear between between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4. Those are different days. Ah, yes. Yeah, the scale is there. So when yes. you do that, that graph, it looks very different. Oh. Do you understand? Ah, yes. And then if you, 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 you only concentrate in the level of concern between 20 and 50, my data point doesn't look too bad because I can exclude the 60 because I don't care about 60 because that's, that's, that's well safe level. Oh, yes. So, oh. exclude. So, so that's a different way to interpret data depending on the outcome. Same question I asked the congressman, what do you really want to accomplish? You want to develop a method to measure many concentrations, or you want to have measurement in your alert concentration. Mm -hmm. If there's alert concentration, you might have a method already. Uh, just a couple of points. Uh, you said the uh, experiments were done from May to December, but you showed May to November on the slide. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Ah, sorry. Slide number 10, I found a bit uh, confusing. It wasn't clear to me. You, um, you, you were separating out the colors, RG, and then, <coughs> then you, you, you combined them. Because you're interested in, because you're not interested in color, is that right? Ah, yes. Interested in the white light. And then you talk about the mean value of R is the most correlated with vitamin A. <coughs> so now you're talking about a particular color. So oh, I'm yes. not quite sure what you're trying to say there. Or it's important to say. What are you trying to say there? What do you want to what's the thing? What's the about message? I think uh, same tendency, RGB, all components, is same tendency is important, I think. That, that means uh, higher, uh, higher, higher reflection, all color value reflection increase, uh, mm -hmm. change. Statistical results. Statistical results, not statistics. Or just statistics. statistics. I think you could speak just a little bit slow as well. So. Yeah, a little bit slow. Maybe you, so you should put the title of this table on the on one line.
which the uh, R square is larger than 0 0.1. Ah, yes. So it is uh, acceptable to say that if the R square is larger than 0 0.1, and you can say that there is some tendency to positive or negative. Is it okay to use this value? R square is larger than 1, you can say, oh, this one is negative, this one is positive. Is it acceptable? In this table, you say that this, uh, this data has negative correlation or positive correlation based on some plot, and you see the S square is larger than 0 0.1. Yes. Okay, this method is acceptable. You say it like this the S square is larger than 0 0.1, and then I say, oh, this negative, oh, this positive. Is it acceptable? Judge no no correlation. Mm -hmm. 